guys what's up my name is aries and this is aries atelier and today's post is going to be kind of unusual but it's an idea i have been thinking about since because i always get asked a question how do i control the speed for my clutch moto industrial sewing machine and there's really no way to explain it the truth is that you can control the speed it's sort of a the harder or the farther down you push your pedal the faster the motor runs so i guess what i'm doing today is sort of sharing um a few tips i guess i guess we can call them tips but basically how i operate my industrial sewing machines i have both the servo motor and the clutch motor and if you don't know what the difference is with these two types of motor so the motor isn't really the machine itself it's just that one thing that is attached to the belt so we're going to sort of like move the camera and everything to focus on the different parts i think the best is to do is like a split screen so you see how i do how i walk the wheel and the pedal at the bottom and how I'm able to sort of like sense the speed or how I'm able to sort of figure the whole thing out. So the motor itself, there are two types. There is a clutch motor, which is the one where <laughs> it, when you turn on the sewing machine, it starts to vibrate or rather it starts to hum. Like you know it's alive. And the servo is sort of like the digital one. So there's different types of servo motors, but basically anything that isn't noisy, doesn't vibrate. Most times they actually have this like small LED panel in the front where it shows you the speed or even in some sophisticated sewing machines. <laughs> this is sophisticated. Even in some sophisticated sewing machines, they actually tell you if there's like an error with the machine and also basically anything that is in that category is called servo motor. But the truth is this, and I'm going to be honest with you guys because I've worked with both types of um, sewing machine motors and I'll be honest with you, the clutch motor is actually stronger. That's like the honest truth. The clutch motor is stronger and it can actually pull your machine through thicker materials and thicker leathers. I haven't seen a servo that is as strong as a clutch motor. Well, obviously because the servo motors that we see in the market are like really small. So you know that, okay, these can so like light to moderate um, weight materials. But when it comes to like the really heavy stuff or really thick leathers, it's my sort of struggle. You might need to do like to give it a little assist. But today I'm just showing you guys how I work my clutch moto. I'm going to show you the things that I actually learned from someone else when I did like really a very short internship in um, a fashion house. I guess you can call it that. <laughs> when I did a very brief, brief internship in a fashion house and it was something the lady there taught me. So I'm sort of like going to pass it to you guys because I see it's a struggle for everyone. And I have done like short time trainings with people and it's always a problem on how to basically we call it how to match your sewing machine but it's basically how to modulate your speed with just tapping your pedal lightly so now let's move our cameras and everything let me show you guys how i do it and you will see that it is possible to sew slowly on your clutch motor because to be honest people have different types of how to modify your clutch motors and all but i really prefer you don't tamper with it instead learn how to use it or better still just switch it for a servo it's just that know what you're taking out know what you're putting in but if you're like me and you like a good challenge let's match this machine all right so first thing you want to know okay this is the wheel this is where you feel the vibration for your machine we're just going to use this scrap of leather for our project let's just fold no let's just do it like this raise this and you drop it down so you turn the machine on this is going to be a little noisy but i really want you guys to hear the vibrations the hum and everything so i'm just going to turn it on I move the machine then you might be able to hear what I'm hearing so I'm just going to move the microphone a little closer so that it can catch the noise so that is the machine on right now and I will step on it and you would hear the difference in the sound So 
so when you hear that sound that means the clutch motor is about to move your sewing machine and you should get ready so people don't know what that means and that is what it means it means your machine is about to move so that is when you lighten your touch and you give your wheel a very soft push so let's try that again So, I don't know if the microphone got this, I hope it got everything because now we're going to do a full line again. Let's turn our, let's turn our pattern, the, our piece the other way. So that is the sound part of it. Now let's use the sound and add the feel of the vibration. So you don't grab this, you just sort of put your hand on it. Don't worry, it's not going to injure you, it's not going to, I mean, nobody is silly enough to put your hand here because this is where you're going to have problems but this is where you feel for the vibration that your machine is about to move and that is where you just sort of like give it that gentle help if you know you don't want it to run fast if you know you want to run fast just leave it it's going to fly but just go easy let's do another line so you see the way i'm moving it slowly And I am using barely any effort on this. You see, I'm not matching it. I'm just like, this is how light the pedal movement is. You don't need a lot of effort. You don't need to match it. Just give it that start. All right, <laughs> let's go. I'm going to keep going line by line until I'm able to convey the message. So the first one was listen to the sound. The second one is feel for the vibration. And the third one, I just want to reiterate, is the pedal movement. And one more thing, this helps you break. Okay, there was something I learned the hard way. When you step on the back of your machine, like when you put your leg here, it doesn't move. It's sort of like the brake pedal. So even if you feel your machine is running and you want to stop it, you just do it backwards. You put more effort on this side and it stops immediately. Like it locks the machine totally. Like you can barely move it. So let's, let's test it. So we're going easy easy and we're going too fast and we just stop you see literally how you step on your brakes you just move your leg as far back as possible and you use your heel to press your pedal down so let's do some free stitches and i hope you guys are able to learn something this is the most confusing <laughs> tutorial i've had to make because i don't know how i'm going to teach you how to operate your machines but these are actually the best like they have the best strength so when you get really good then you can leave it then just step on it lightly now when you are sure that you have good control then you can just step on your machine lightly and it moves so for those wondering, I don't have any speed control because people have asked me that question before. I don't have any speed control. I just had to learn how to operate my sewing machine. So don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have more questions about your sewing machine, please ask, I am all ears. I would love to hear from you guys and happy Christmas in advance tis the season i love you so much and i'll see you in my next tutorial